In this video, I will explain newton raphson method and we will use newton raphson method uh, to answer question from assignment number one. And this assignment is from MTS603. So this video will not only help you to answer that question from assignment, actually this video will teach you newton raphson method in detail. If you will watch this video, you will be very confident to use newton raphson method to find nth root of any positive number. Nth root simply means that any root of any positive number. So let's try to understand first of all how to find nth root of any positive number and then we will also answer question from assignment number two. First of all, we will focus on question number two. Uh, so first of all, we need to find out nth root of any positive number. Uh, as uh, you can see here, uh, let's say there is a number n. It can be any number. N simply means that. Uh, n can be 2. It can be 4, 5, 6, 7, any number. n is any number. If we need to find the square root of that, as you can see here, we can also find, uh, we will derive journal formula. And if you need to find the cube root, as you can see here, we will also will be able to find with just one formula. And as you can see here, fourth root, we can also find, even the nth root, we can also find. For all these roots, we will just derive one single formula as you can see here let's say x is equal to n to the power of 1 over r n is any number and r is any power so as you can see we have x to the power of r and if we multiply 1 over r with r we will simply get n so we got x to the power of r is equal to n. So we can also simply rearrange in this form. And now let's say f of x is equal to x to the power of r minus n. And the derivative of f of x is equal to r x to the power of r minus 1. So let me explain to you a little bit this, how we got this derivative. So let's start with very general uh, form. Let's say we need to find the derivative of x to the power of n with respect to x. So we will simply get n x to the power of n minus 1. And here is the derivative of x with respect to x. So our final answer will be x to the power of n minus 1. Uh, so you can see here as we got the derivative of x to the power of n uh, is equal to n x to the power of n minus 1. So if I simply replace n with r, so this is what we will get here. This is a number actually, so its derivative is equal to 0. So this is what we got. Uh, next one. Now you can see here uh, this is coming from the previous slide. Uh, f of x is equal to x to the power of r minus n. So this is coming from the previous slide. This is the function we suppose and this is the derivative of the function. So next thing we need to understand newton raphson method. So newton raphson method is quite straightforward one. Uh, this is uh, newton raphson method. If you look at this one, so this is x n plus 1, and here we have x n, and this is f of x n, and here is the derivative of f of x n. Now, f of x, for example, uh, you can see we have f of x here, but f of x is equal to x to the power of r minus n. So this is what I wrote here. I simply replace this with its value. 
and this is derivative of f of x as you can see here is equal to this value which simply replace with this one and next we just simple simplify and we got this formula this is journal form of a general formula simply you can say uh, to find nth root of any positive number now let's say we need to find uh, square root r is equal to 2 so we can simply replace where we see r we can replace with 2 and in this formula if we replace r with 2 and also here if we replace r with 2 means anywhere you wherever you see r just replace with 2 so this will be our general formula to find the square root of any positive number so we can also do if we need to find the cube root so we can replace r with this number and we will get this journal form to find cube root now we have these two formula and you can replace with r is equal to 4, r is equal to 5, r is equal to 6, 7 and so on to find any root of any positive number. Let's go to our real question now, question from assignment. So this is a question number 2 from assignment. So let me just write down here, this is question 2 from assignment. So we need to evaluate 167 to the power of 1 by 2 uh, using newton raphson method. It has to be cracked up to four decimal places. So this is the general formula. We have derived for square root. So I just wrote here again. Now what we need to do, we just need to plug in numbers, that's all. So in this case, what is our n? n is equal to 167. So where we see n, we just replace with 167. So we need initial value. So if you take the square root of 167, so this is equal to about 12.9 nine two two eight so this is square root of one six seven so we need initial value so let's say we start from with initial value x naught is equal to twelve point six so n we start from zero so where you see n we replace with zero and x1 because if you replace n with zero this number if i replace with zero what we will get we will get x1 and this one and this will be zero and this also will be zero so this is what we got here why replacing small n with zero Okay, next one. So we can see here uh, x naught as we have the value of x naught. This is 12.6. Uh, we wrote down here this value is actually x naught. And this one is n. And this is again x naught here. And if we solve, we will get x1 is equal to 12.927. Now next a step n is equal to 1 so if n is equal to 1 so you can see 1 plus 1 will be 2 so this is x2 and this is x1 so this value is coming from here so we have to write the value of x1 here and this one is n and this is again same number as i wrote here n is equal to 1 6 Seven. So we just write down here and this is x1. So this value is coming from here x1. So if we solve this one, we will get x2 is equal to this. Now let's say n is equal to 2. The next iteration we can do and uh, this will be n plus 1 means 2 plus 1. So we got x3. So this x2 we have to got this value. So this is x2 n is equal to 167 and x2 is also coming from here 
is also coming from here as you can see so if we solve we got this answer uh, now you can see we are getting uh, here answer is 12.92 and this is also 12.92 and the question was asking us up to four decimal places you can see the uh, these four de numbers are repeated as you can see here four decimal places you see here so we got 0.9228 and also we got 0.9228 four decimal places so it means our final answer is 12.99 so this is uh, our final answer 9228 so this is our final answer I hope this video was quite helpful and you got the idea how to find the general formula and how to calculate square root of 167. If you found this video was helpful and useful, like the channel and like the video and subscribe the channel. That's all for this video.